All right, guys, we are testing out 4K60 on both the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, just to see how stabilization is uh, on this part, we'll do some running, of course, with the front facing camera, and we'll showcase the rear as well, and of course, a few other awesome features. Now, as you know, this is the point where I turn around and I start running. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have that. Some interesting dynamic range I'm seeing here, but without wasting any more time, let us check out the rear camera. So now we've got our rear camera and also at 4K 60. Walking down, seeing what kind of stabilization we get. And as you guys know, we're going to start running again. Boom, boom. So this is 4K60 running. Whew. Man. All right. Here we have steady shot versus 1080p60. Boom, 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 boom. So taking a look at images here, at daytime, you can see both images look really good. The S20 Ultra it comes up really sharp for the front facing camera. Yes, it's a 40 megapixels uh, camera and detection, edge detection is really solid, but the vibrance and the dynamic range really showcases in this picture you're looking at. Where the iPhone is nice and clear, uh, the, it's blown out in the clouds, while the Galaxy, you can see the recovery of the clouds and also just the sharpness of the beard and of course, the hat itself. Now, the S20 Ultra also has a low light mode for its front facing camera, something the iPhone doesn't have, just showcasing the capabilities here on the camera app. And when we look at, uh, of course, low light photos, you can see how that actually works out well in the pitch black location as you saw uh, earlier. So uh, this is much sharper for the S20 Ultra while the iPhone 11 Pro Max is uh, not as sharp. It's fuzzy. Uh, you've got a lot of green going on there. Uh, similarly here, this is at a bar. There's a lot of red and multicolored lights within the bar, but it's really low. You can see the S20 Ultra really bringing that out and still keeping focus on me while the iPhone 11 Pro Max, because there is no low light mode in the front facing camera, doesn't do that. Now we move to a shot here, which is outside. I was leaving the bar. And again, taking a front facing shot with the both cameras, the S20 Ultra, sharper, brighter, the iPhone, a lot of grain, a lot of noise in that photo. Now this photo is quite interesting because both of them come up pretty well. There's a lot of light leakage, much more with the S20 Ultra, but I do like the color detail because that's more accurate than the iPhone, but both are still really, really good. Now here is a shot within the bar with the main sensor. You can see that sharpness that the S20 Ultra portrays and it just stands out really, really well. The iPhone is solid, but the colors and sharpness really come out well with the S20 Ultra's main uh, lens here in low light. 
now when we go to the ultra wide the iphone doesn't have a low light capability in the ultra wide so that's just something to take note but the iphone still does fairly well you can see details you can see the girls in the mirror while the galaxy s20 ultra is much sharper uh, it's more vivid you can see uh the girls in in the in the mirror there you can also see a lot of details with the bottles at the back now we go into a 2x zoom Again, more details with the S20 Ultra. Uh, the iPhone is good, but you can see how well backlit the S20 Ultra comes out with this image here. So that is something you know to take note and just see. And I think it works out pretty well. And this here quickly is just showcasing 5x zoom in low lights. You can clearly see the lead rings of all the different alcohols uh, on the bar there. Again, low light shot. Yes, there is some lighting in here, but it does well. Now let's take a look at 8K video. I'll let you guys enjoy audio and video from it directly. The thing a lot of people want to see, 8K recording. It's probably some micro shakes for me. I'm just going to pan a little bit. Oof. See how it deals with some sunlight. The sun's at the edge. It's bleeding in. Oh man, it is so cold out here. My fingers are burning. Boom. You can take some photos again while you're doing this. All right, 8K, 30 seconds. Seriously, guys, that was absolutely shocking. Not the fact that it couldn't happen, it's just how it happened. The S20 Ultra is a beast, and the camera is not out to play around. You've got to say, look, looking at video 4K60 looked really good compared to the iPhone. Uh, also, Super Steady was still great. Uh, the images, just the, the sharpness and the dynamic range, so good. And low life photography really came out solid. I mean, such an improvement from last year. And of course, you still have that extra benefit of 8K video. I mean, that is truly amazing. And even some of the shots, you know, from the camera itself, uh, just the rear camera, really showcases why Samsung feels the S20 Ultra is gonna be that device that you wanna pick up this year. So what do you guys think? Do you think the S20 Ultra is now the best camera out there? Well. Stay tuned for, of course, my buddy Marion Cell. He'll be giving his full camera review soon. Uh, until then, enjoy this comparison. Check out for more videos from the S20 Ultra and always enjoy your entertainment.